live, live with a side of schmick schmive, hive, rive. I gotta make sure my audio is working first, so obviously. Can't be playing a game if my audio ain't working, obviously, guys. That'd be kind of silly, wouldn't it? Alright, yep, audio is working. That's cool, cool. Glad to hear my audio is working. I'll wait for someone to join. Okay, howdy. I know your think comment hasn't popped up yet, but that's probably gonna be the first thing you're gonna say. To ah, I got it right. Heck yeah. I guess you did say howdy, howdy, but you know what? That's good enough for me. We're playing Friday the 13th. So we got Baghead Jason. It's pretty basic Jason. Um, we got Part 3 Jason. Or this is Part 2 Jason. This is Part 3 Jason. He's also pretty basic. You know. And then there's Part 4 Jason. The one where he dies. My only question on why does, why does the mask change so much though? It goes for more of a round looking feature. And then all of a sudden it goes to this... Uh, a lot less round feature, but anyways, then there's part 5 Jason, the, not even Jason, let's be honest now. There's part 6 Jason, uh, this, yeah, part 6. There's part 7, part 7 is personally one of my favorites, just because of the badass look to it. There's part 8 Jason, which I like because of the fire axe. Then there's part 9 Jason, yeah, yeah it's pretty much it. Gotta make sure I have my skin set to all of them real quick. Bloody, bloody, bloody. Oh wait, fuck. Bloody, bloody, bloody. I'm, I'm not giving him a bloody skin. He don't deserve it. Bloody, bloody. Just his shirt kind of changes. And his bloody, Does his shirt change a little bit. Nah, no, not the coloring. What about his? Does he switch up at all? No. Uh, okay, yeah. Alright, anyways, but, uh. So, we're gonna try some offline a little bit just so I could try and get the feel of this game again. Obviously, gonna go Crystal Lake Small, because. I'm gonna play as this Jason, because this Jason's just badass. I'm gonna do easy for now. Is there even an easy? Yeah, I'm just gonna do easy for right now. But this is Jason. This game is pretty fun, though. <laughs> Cap Crystal Lake, the iconic map. <laughs> uh, Chad still be looking fucking weird as hell, though. My audio kind of cut out there. I think the audio started a bit too early. Give me a second, guys. I actually need, I need to turn off the lights a little bit. It's kind of bright in my room at this moment. Oh my god, it just got super dark. <laughs> Make them remember, Jason. Yes, Make mother. them suffer. Yes, mother. I pick up my throwing knives because, you know, it's the perfect pop. Wait, 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 place to have a fucking pocket knife. Or a throwing knife, I guess. Alright, so I'm gonna teleport to this building right here. I feel like this building. Oh, hoo 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 hoo. Last hit. I like it. One more hit, okay.
the hell are you doing, dude? You should just go through the freaking door. Oh, lucky bastard. I always try to kill everyone in a... In a different way. Oh, the class guy got right now. Oh, 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 yeah. You dropped your firecrackers a little late there, buddy. Yeah. Kill for mother. Hell yeah, I'll kill for you, mother. Let's teleport a uh, great over here. It might be a waste of teleportation, but I don't really care. I'm gonna no. still do it. Oh, she spotted me. Whoa. It's Jason, motherfucker. What do you expect? This Camp Crystal Lake? Bitch! It's pretty scary right here to see Jason chopping down your door. That's right! This little bitch trying to run. Oh, she a fast one. I guess I'm not exactly fast though, so I lied. <laughs> Fucking slut. Big mistake, little lady. Oh fuck, I missed. What the hell? Big mistake, little lady. I probably should have went through the other door because that shit was already open and she just left the door. I lied, she came back. Or, nope, never mind, she's running. Oh, well, they're running. There's more than one at the moment. But... He came out for some reason. Oh, he's running here. Yeah. Ooh, who didn't lock the door? Y'all messed up big time. I know the perfect place to go. No, he got away. Do you know what your gift is? No matter what they do to you, you cannot die. You can never die. I won't kill her, him in cold blood, but I'll kill him in uh, warm blood. Such a badass killer right here, man. Hell yeah. Might see the kill from uh, Friday the 13th. Oh, this bitch locked me in. Make them suffer like we did. Yes, lady, come on. Come to daddy. No reason to run. Need help with that? Ooh, she managed to get me with the freaking firecrackers. Oh, what dummy came in here, bitch. I don't know, but she got out. I know that. right here where you God damn it everyone have pocket knives Do you know what everyone escaping from no me dude you, you cannot die you can never die Big ol' me. Ain't nothing stopping me, bitch. 
Except that pocket yeah, knife you just threw at stamp in my neck. Find okay. Them. Kill them. You dummy, you probably should have picked up this shot then. <laughs> I will not do an open window apparently. Okay, that's whatever. It's okay. Hunt them down and make oh, them pay. What are, how many kills are we at? How do I look at the kills again? I didn't mean to put that down, but sure. Oh, I got Tommy Jarvis up and kicking now, huh? Tommy Jarvis, <laughs> my old friend. A big mistake, buddy, coming back here. Pocket knife. I knew it. They want to hurt you, Jason. Don't Tommy Jarvis them. always be stuffing with that fucking pocket knife, buddy. I love that sexy. Don't stop, Jason. They deserve to die. Make them suffer like me. Jason's so damn polite. You see the way Jason just they fucking move out of the way, bro. Jason. Like Jason's like, oh, bro, Make shit, my bad. Let me, get, let me get out of your way, son. <laughs> Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no! Oh, I cut off her arm. Holy fuck. Oh, I cut off her other arm. Oh, god damn. That girl back in the background is kind of stuck at the moment. That's okay. Oh, kind of went onto the map. And I stepped on her head. They deserve to die, Jason. Come Make on, them baby. Suffer. Don't you run from me. Don't run from Daddy Jason. Daddy Voorhees. There's two more people after this. In all honesty, you probably should have just ran down. I want to kill her resourcefully. No, there's no resources near. Ah. Get up, Jason. Find them. Kill them. Yeah, true. You have a point there. Oh, where are you going, little lady? Exploitable glitch, baby. I don't feel like having to chop down every door, so. Bitch, come back here. Oh, no. Okay, she's still on the run, guys. But for how long? Ooh. Uh oh. Ooh. Ugh. God damn, Jason. They deserve to die, Jason. Make them suffer. Alright, where's our last boy? Try down here. I don't think I've ever checked down in this area. Probably have, though. Search for down that last survivor, guys. Go stock mode, guys. Ah! Oh, you noticed me. Ah! <laughs> I 
end him with that classic move I did before this time. Oh! He's killing me! Let it go! <laughs> hey, look at that. This time we're floating in the air. I didn't even step on his head this time. I literally just walked over yeah. there. Here, step through. Yeah. Kill for mother. Kill for mother. Kill for mother. Kill for mother. It's all done now, Jason. Your job is through. Thank you, Return mother. Return to mommy. Oh. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. Ooh, I got a thousand XP. Cool. Killed eight out of eight. I cooked Adam. I eviscerated Tommy. I tossed Fox. I stabbed Chad. I dismembered Kenny. And I cracked Deborah. I also yeah, did the last guy. I don't remember what his name was. So. Alright, we're going to try a quick play match this time around. Let's see if we can get to a random game. Might take a few seconds. I don't know how many people even play this game. I don't know if anyone even plays this game. That's a good question. Does anyone actually play this game? Oh, yep, apparently so. Cool, cool. I'm just gonna mute everyone so they don't have to hear me talking. Sam. Probably ready up, huh? Oh, none of these guys are ready up. Oh, we got a TTV kid, guys. Well, we start in about a minute and a half. So. We got about one, two, three, four, five, five possible survivors and one Jason.
All right. Oh wait. Look. I didn't even see the loading screen, honestly. I had to wait for this last guy to join so we can mute him. Mute! Oh, wait, wait, no, wait, yeah, no, I can't mute him right now. Apparently I can't mute these guys, but okay, it's whatever. It's actually a good question, can I mute myself? Mm, I don't know, but we're gonna get started. Who's gonna be the Jason? It's probably not gonna be me. Haha. <laughs> I knew it. Oh, I got a fist fat nerd. Jesus fuck. Was that real? This can't be real. It's real, buddy. <laughs> yeah, you get used to it. This gets, this happens a while. This happens quite a lot at this game. Ooh, I got the flare gun already, baby. Hopefully, I won't end up like Matt. Yes, I believe I have a flash. Ooh, I'm quite a nervous guy. This game is pretty nerve-wracking, honestly. Ooh, I got the car keys. All right, all right. I probably shouldn't have muted all those people if I think about it now. Guess it's too late to unmute them, though, so. It's all right, it's whatever. This isn't gonna look like a weird person just talking to myself for no reason. Oh wait, no, no, no. Turn off, turn off, turn off, turn off. Ooh, I got a map. All right, cool, cool. All right, someone was able to radio Tommy Jarvis, so that's good. Has anyone died yet? No, no one's died yet, so... No one's exactly close to me either. That's the worst part, though. always have this horrified look on their face so I gotta start running towards I want to keep like looting and stuff but like I don't want to get caught by Jason y'all know what I mean uh. Uh. I feel like someone's gonna be coming for me oh I got a pocket knife so if they do get a hold of me I'll be okay, at least for a little bit. It'll give me a second to quickly grab my weapon and stuff, if I have one, if I had one at least. Man, I'm kind of nervous though, for real. Okay, I got a healing item too. I got two healing items actually. But... <clears throat> All right, guys. I need to get the frick out of here now. I need to get off this. We need to try and get the fuck out of here. Yo, who's that boy? Mr. Barrel, what's up, boy? Gotta stick together, man. I got a flare gun and a pocket knife. I also got the car keys and the two healing sprays, so. Bah, I'm just kidding now. Alright, buddy, if you ain't moving with me, I'm moving. Oh, Jason's been here, guys. I think Jason killed someone, actually. Jason killed someone. Oh, fuck. So that's the boat thing. I don't really need the boat thing. I don't plan on taking the boat. My teammate's kind of brain dead over there, so. 
I have a teammate over here. That's always nice. Oh fuck, no! teammate, come over here, buddy. I got you. Ah oh, fuck. Stick shit in. Oh fuck you, buddy. I have no idea where he came from, but stand back. Did I get him? I'm not sure, but I I'm not a lot of stamina. That's never good. What's up, bro? Jason's over here, but Jason was just over here. Alright, cool. Uh, I don't really know. I think Jason's going for that person up there, though. I got it actually fit. Okay, all set. Time to get out of here. Alright. I survived. It was a little easier than expected, but sure. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, um. Ha! Huh. I was not expecting that to be that easy. I'm not gonna lie with you guys. I expected Jason to tip the boat over and put both of us in the thing. I'm gonna go to the virtual cabin, guys. All right. I hope you don't mind. Virtual cabin. Well, how about that? That was unnecessarily easy. Yeah, it's, uh, with the uh, virtual cabin, just the way to... It's actually a very huge easter egg gun, but it has a lot of information. I'll let this guy explain it. Okay, so, did you want to do an intro? Uh, hello. Welcome to the virtual cabin. I'm Chuck Brengart, CEO of Ilphonic, and we are the developers behind Friday the 13th, the game, which you are currently playing now. Is there anything you want to say to the fans? Sure. I just want to say thanks for playing and supporting the game. Our fan base has been incredible. This project has exceeded even our wildest dreams, and that's because of all your continued and amazing support. So where are we? So this is the Virtual Cabin, 2.0 to be exact. The Virtual Cabin was a way for our backers to check out new art assets and discover a few hidden Easter eggs as we were building the game. It was a really engaging way to show a sneak peek at what we were developing. So, why bring it back? A ton of work went into researching the Friday the 13th films for the game and we wanted to present a fun way to go behind the scenes and learn more about how the movies and the game were made. Consider this as an expanded virtual museum, a space where you can explore the lore of Friday the 13th and take it all in. Who knows, there might even be a few new Easter eggs to discover. If you go digging deep enough, <clears throat> sorry, I didn't mean for that to sound so ominous. All right, yeah, it's 
See, he gave a pretty basic example. Also, there's a front end. There's a, I don't know if y'all can see that, but there's a mask. Flames, the most requested playable Jason. Wait, the most requested playable Jason was director and Marcus and actor Kane Hodder's version. Jason goes to hell. This is ironic given how the little screen time the movie actually gives the corporal, corporal wheel Jason. The script for Jason Goes to Hell is exceptional in that not a single teenager was called in for the script. Wow. Uh, Friday the 13th is more than a movie franchise. There's also a television series, a comic book miniseries, and four novels to date. Wow. Not on the back, eh? Chapter 1, Death Penalty. Chapter 2, Stairway from Hell. Chapter 3, The J-Cons. Chapter 4, Killed Killers. Chapter 5, The End. Hope you don't mind. It's probably all the other thing is gonna be because I really I might try and do the whole Easter egg hunt. Uh, composer Harry Manfredini, Manfredini, I think his name. I, I don't honestly remember how to pronounce it. Was scored has scored eight Friday for Friday films. Some of his older music was re reused in Part Seven as well, but it was his first score for the original movie that set the tone for the rest of the series. In an interview, Manfredini described how that the score took on a life of its own. The music became a character in that film. It was really minimal. There was really only two chords in the score. There was this, the sameness in the score. There was never really any mel melody. A display of the final scene in the Voorhees house. A depiction. Jason acted as success for the first movie, Frank Mac Mac Man Cruz, Sr., the CEO of Paramount Pictures, wanted to make the franchise into a serial with each movie having a different story. It was reportedly Phil Security, his majesty, who insisted that the sequel have Jason Voorhees. It's pretty cool. I'll put Allie, the role of Allie, a tough member of a local biker gang, was played by an actor named, appropriate enough, Nick Savage. It's a rough movie for Allie. His bike is damaged, his friends are killed, and he gets his arm chopped off before he hatched it to death. In an alternate ending, he survives, but that footage, like Allie himself, was cut. <laughs> Jessica, director Adam Marcus, wanted to turn the series back to the themes of family. The character of Jessica Kimball is the daughter of Diane Kimball, who's half-sister of Jason Voorhees. Let's read this. This little scene about. Oh wait, is this what the scene is about? Oh yeah, okay, that's what that scene was. Tiffany Cox and Kenny Rydell. The Spring Bake 1984 clothing pack DLC was introduced. Introduced skimpy swimsuits and new challenge for the art team at Elphonic. In interview, art dire director Cole Gray stated, "We hadn't built the system originally for customization." customization or swimsuits. We had to overhaul how the characters function fundamentally. It has to do with much larger scope of work that involves a gore system. So now we have... What did they do with the arm after it was cut off? What arm? Uh, we have had a tough overhaul of the characters function. Yeah, it has to do with a much larger scope that involves the gore system. So now we have two no, now we have to have a bunch of new clothes that work with the way our characters pop. Our characters are essentially crash dum test dummies. They have to break apart at certain locations. It was a bit of a challenge. Okay, what arm? What arm are you talking about, lady? Johnny Myers, the next... The character of Jenny Myers, known as the girl next door, is voiced by talented Chris Christina Kleb. Unlike her character, Christina is a bit of a traveler. Born in New York, Kleb spent informative years in Germany, France, and Italy. The biker's arm. I don't think the biker arm lost his arm. Did it say his arm was lost? A uh, tough member of local biking games played by an actor, Brooklyn named It's a rough movie. His bike is damaged. His friends are killed. Oh, yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe they did. Yeah, I guess he did get his arm cut off. I haven't watched the first movie in a while. Anyway, I don't mind. I think it was part three. The movie was part. I'm not sure. Shaving cream nudity is one of the hallmarks of the Friday film. 
principally female nudity. Nud yeah, nudity. In the ninth installment, The Final Friday, Anna and Marcus subverted the expectation by including male nudity in roughly equal measure, including a scene where, which has been described in many, many by many as the homo homoerotic shaving scene. Interesting. Uh, I can't really tell that. Uh, Shelly and his ma. ma. Larry Zenner, Zerner, Zenner, no, something, played the role of fan favorite Shelly and Friday the 13th Part 3. In the movie, Vera played the, by Cat. in the movie, Vera, played by Kathleen Parks, is on docks of Crystal Lake when she meets Shelly's wallet, where she finds Shelly's wallet. Inside is a picture of Larry and his actual mother. Startled by noise, Vela drops the wallet into muddy waters. Upon fishing it out, she's confronted with Jason wielding a harpoon gun. Fans know the rest of the story. P.S. If you haven't watched the movie, you get shot in the eye. Uh, what they might not know is after filming, Larry gave the washed out photo to his mother who put it on her fridge as a memento. It stayed there for 30 years before it was scanned and put into this very game. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, body of Friday the 13th, the murder missing, feared stolen by Wes Morg. Developing story, okay, cool. The mythos of Jason lies somewhere between the natural and supernatural. He is the man who can be caught and killed, but is also a boy who survived drowning. In one tell in one telling his is mortal dark heart switches host. In another he's a woundable and anniversary a adversary. Like a good campfire story, the definitive truth is just always out of reach. Deborah Kim. I think that's Deborah. Friday the 13th, the game features a wide range of voiceover talent. The counselor Deborah Kim is voiced by veteran Kristen V, who has helped voice many popular animated and film projects. Cool. Thought I seen something move. Try not to spend too much time here, but you know. Doors locked, I presume. Automobiles of the film, from the Jeeps in the original movie to Megan's Hot Rod in Part 8. I think that's Part 8. There have been many memorable automobiles in the films. In Part 5, Ethan's wild son Jr. crazily rides a motorcycle before being decapitated with a meat cleaver. Without much of a budget, the director had the actor playing Jr. Ron Solon do the stunt himself. It required Sloan to ride a motorcycle recklessly through the forest with a $15,000 camera mounted to the $50,000 camera mounted to the handlebars. Oh, oh, uh, on fire. During the final battle on Friday the 13th, the new blood, the telekinetic heroine Tina Shepard sets Jason, played by Kane Hunter, who's honestly one of my favorite actors of Jason, just because he cared so much about the role. He, he took a lot, he took one hell of a beating playing Jason, too. Uh, uh, to get the footage of Hunter, Hotter was set on fire for 40 seconds, a Hollywood record for a controlled burn. The incredible thing was that Hotter agreed to the stunt at all. Several years before, Hotter had a similar stunt go wrong on him. He was badly burned, receiving scars on his chest and neck from the accident. What was the creepiest part about working on the game? Oh, for sure the phone calls. Okay, sorry, um, that was great. Can you start over, but this time incorporate the question into your answer? Uh, my bad, yeah. So the creepiest part about working on this game was I get these weird phone calls to my personal phone. We worked on the game for almost, uh, I think it was about three years. And every single Friday the 13th, we would get these calls from someone. At first I thought it was someone at the studio, Paul or Dan or something, but it had to be like an F-13 fanboy or something. They would use this voice distortion and claim to be Pamela warning us to honor the memory of her son. Sometimes they would just laugh in the phone and hang up, but, but most of the times they would just, you know, complain about the game taking so long. That doesn't sound that creepy. It wasn't until one time I called the number back and heard this. <laughs> cool, cool. Spooky and cool. Walking shoes. Jason and Kane Hunter have special connection. In Friday, in a Friday the Thirteenth round table, Hunter relayed a little bit of what it's like to be so close to the icon. Every time I do a convention or an appearance somewhere, there will always be at least one person who says, "Hey, do the Jason walk." I'm like, "Well, that's kind of how I walk." 
<laughs> well, it's kind of how I walk. Yeah, dude, what the fuck? You think he specifically walked a certain way just to be a fucking badass about it? Fucking Kane Hunter really is a badass, honestly. I remember, I believe it was part uh, part eight. Jason takes Manhattan. I believe that's part eight. At least some guy tried to uh, when they were filming in Manhattan. Some guy tried to steal the Jason mask, and fucking Kane Hodder beat the shit out of him. It was fucking dope as hell. It's like goddamn Kane Hodder beating the shit out of fucking people who try to steal Jason's mask. Eric J R La Chapa. La Chapa? La Chapa. As a part of the Kickstarter campaign, certain high tier backers could get their likeness included in the game. One such generous backer is Eric J.R. L La Chapa. La Chapa's best two stats are repair, 10 out of 10, and stealth, 8 out of 10. Holy fuck what? One of the f out of the first ten films, every Friday the thirteenth has been released on Friday, but the only four have been released on Friday the thirteenth. It's kind of cool. I hate the fact that it takes so long for comments to appear. Star look on a new beginning, third edition. Jeff Bennett played the lovable nerd writer Eddie McCarlo, who runs a sci-fi premise by Tina. Thirty thousand years in the future, the entire galaxy is populated. Highly evolved pro protists that only one human and his woman still exist among the stars. Agreed about what? Oh, yeah, oh, about Kane Hodder. Hell yeah, Kane Hodder is fucking dope. I like watching him play Jason. Uh, Buggies Wilson and Chad Chen Ken Kensington. Since the inception of the project, developers knew that Friday the 13th experience had to be multiplayer. To capture magic of the movies. The multiplayer experience is what got us the license, said co creator Rennie Hobbs. Ronnie Hobbs. Sean S. Cunningham saw our game, saw that it was multiplayer and could essentially play out like a film. They had been wanting to make a Friday the 13th game for a long time, too, but all they ever pitched was a single player game. I was agreeing about the comments. What comments? What? I'm so confused. Uh, call a chance to win a free cruise. The original draft put up Rob Headings, Heading, Heading, I fucking suck at last names. Headingtons, Headons, I'm gonna call them Headons. Script was some ambitious plans, including a boxing match in Madison Square Garden, crane shots in Times Squares, and a chase scene across the Brooklyn Bridge. The budget, however, quickly became an issue. Ultimately, one of the movie, much of the movie is filmed on a ship named the SS Princess Patricia in. Vancouver leading many of the cast and crew to dub the movie Jason Takes Vancouver. About how long? About, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I thought you were talking about how badass Kane Hunter is. Jason Voorhees slain. According to the director Joseph Zito, Zito, he and the cast believed part four to be the final ch Friday film. Not only was the title the final chapter. Wrong guess. What? I don't guess. Uh, uh, the final chapter of the script called for Jason's had to be split open in the final cut. Even Harry Manfredi's musical cue for the final scene was named Lamruto. Jeez. La Jason. La Jason. Oh, wait. Maybe I can't can turn it upside down. Word, word guess. Week 4. Original. Original mask owner. Jason. I'm not sure. Uh, uh, Shelly. Shelly. It's Shelly. S H E L L Y. That's when Jason got his iconic cocky mess. Uh, the release of the Friday the 13th game was slated for early 2017, a time frame that managed to both be wide and for some fans vague. The ambitiously caught ambiguity caused this ambiguity ambiguity caused quite a bit of energy to be directed at Gun Media and in particular at the community manager Ben Strauss. Struess, Strauss. It's actually become a meme with our community, said Shross. Any, someone sent me a mug that said early 2017 on, on it on Friday the 13th font in the Friday the 13th font. Cool. Folk of the Forest Green County. Next decades. Uh, the Bird Cage, Cameron's Moose Law, Crumb Canyon. So this is the. Uh, I'm not actually sure. I know it's past part four. I believe this is part four right here. 
That's part five, obviously. That's after part four, but a collection of Jason masks that were more from the Friday the Thirteenth series. Honestly, I love Jason's mask just because of how creepy yet simple it is. I think the simpleness of the mask really makes it iconic and fucking nerve-wracking or disturbing, I guess. Uh, one of the most emblematic emblematic moments of the movie was the scene of Jason in Times Square. Kane Hodder, who played Jason, stayed in character for the whole time. There were hundreds of people on both sides of the street watching the filming. With one quick look from Jason, the crowd would scream, cheer, and go wild. Corey Feldman was slated to reprise his role of Tommy Jarvis in this film. Unfortunately, being cast in two Spielberg movies led to scheduling conflicts. A compromise would reach in the film with which the child actor would appear, but only in the opening sequence. Director Danny Steinman arranged for the crew to set up in Feldman's backyard. They put two up extra bushes, had a rain machete, and wrapped up the shoot in two hours. Oh, dope. Uh... No. Uh, Tommy's fascination with masks served multiple purposes in the film. They served as a homage to sem seminal, sem seminal, seminal, se something. Special effects artist Thomas Savini, as well as adding a darker layer to Tommy's character, providing an omen to things to come. According to screenwriter Barney Cohen, Cohen, they also made a film philosophical point about horror that is contagious the horror that Jason dispenses can be passed on to anyone the film featured a recast of Jason the filmmakers discovered a 6'3 250 pound night club owner named CJ Graham Graham was part of the hypnos hypnosis stage show where by a magician would put audience members in a trance and ask them to imagine they're encountering Jason Voorhees Graham would dress up as Jason Voorhees and scare them in the middle of the hype hypnosis. The production team was impressed and cost, cast Graham as Jason for their movie. Don't. Good job, bro. Can we see Jason O? Can I peek out the window? Maybe Jason's standing there stalking us. Stalking whoever the hell I'm playing is. Use other door. Coming soon. Ah, yes. There's the shotgun. Pocket knife. The MPAA Ratings Board Motion Picture Association of America and the Friday the 13th franchise has long, has long had a cat and mouse relationship. Director John Carl, John Carl, I'm just going to say his first two names, has publicly vented his frustration with the amount of footage that had to be cut to attain an R rating. For uh, John Carl, the gore had the gore had a purpose comparing the removal of it with telling a joke without a punchline yeah I kinda hate that they got the movie got so censored a lot of the movies got really censored they could have had a lot of creative kills firecrackers Ilphonic and gun media found this put found the player feedback from the beta build to in value toward bouncing the game according to dev honey herbs one of the items that Required adjustment was the firecrackers. If you played the beta, you would know that the Friday crackers used to be the least useful item in the game. They were designed to turn it to food, Jason. You could throw something down, and if he's using his sense, he would see sound pings, and you could run the other way. Firecrackers can now stun him. It's not a Friday the 13th movie without the, if the movies, if the kills are all freaking basic and not gory. Uh, like the movies preceded it Friday the 13th, the game has its own problems with censors. Germans rating boards, the USK, found the game so violent that they rejected the game at launch. Oh, poor, poor Germans. Med spray, antiseptic spray, aerosol. Warning, flammable. After menacing the crew of Grendel, Jason is shot to death by the android KM-14. With half a body and half a head, Jason falls onto a nano med bay that Super used to kill it. With future technology, Jason is reborn as Uber Jason. Is, it, is that name silly? Yeah. Is it badass? Yeah. I like it fit in with the movie. I know a lot of people hated Jason X or Jason Goes to Space, whatever you want to call it. I could say obviously Jason X, but <clears throat> then yeah, I heard a lot of people complained about it because that's like, come on, J Jason staying and killing camp a bunch of horny teens. That's that's gonna get old after a while, guys.
I mean, it did get old, actually. I want to see if there's anything on the back. Uh, same bloodthirst, but deadlier. Nearly indestructible and with limited movement from actor Kane Hunter. The full body suit looked sharp but had limited range of motion on account of all the metallic plates. Spear, many of the kills in this game take inspiration and origin from the movies. This kill where Jason Spears a counsel in the face, for example, is a reference to the VB, uh, the VW, VW bug scene with Nancy McLaughlin, Art 3. There we go. Among the most interesting deaths, uh, can you actually see it? Oh, no way. <clears throat> Not that. In part 5 was the road flare death. In this scene, two greasers, Vinny and Pete, are stranded along the road in the woods. You know, Vinny sounds like the most greaser sounding name you can tap get. A common enough occurrence in the world of Friday the 13th. Jason ambushes the two and shoves a road flare in Vinny's mouth. For the special effects shot, they made a latex version of Vinny's head and jammed the road flare in the mouth, making a horrific red glow. Painting, just like magic. <clears throat> uh, extreme flammable. Why is everything flammable? That's sprayable. Or during the scene where Jason chases Rennie and Sean in the subway car, two spray-painted slogans are clearly visible. Jason lives and Quentin lives. This first is the tagline of the fourth installment, or sixth installment. The second is a shout-out to the band director, Rob Hayden. Hayden was in his youth. Is this flammable too, motherfuckers? Uh, in the cinematic part, fight of part six, true. Jason pulls Tommy down to the bottom of Crystal Lake. Underwater, there is a metal sign of Camp Crystal Lake with the word blood spray painted over the Crystal Lake. Uh, it is a homage to the title in the original Friday the 13th screenplay, A Long Night at Camp Blood. <laughs> Alright guys, this is taking a bit too long, so at the moment, I'm just going to start. I mean, I, I got in this thing and like... At, when we're at like 30 minutes and I've spent 22 minutes so at this moment I'm probably just gonna quickly just do the Easter egg hunts if you guys don't mind tell me if you guys mind hey. yeah. 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 you sure I, I thought you were frowning at first. I didn't say don't frown at me, lady. Counselor database. <clears throat> Nickname Brando. You're in game. I have none of these so much. Uh, change date. Uh, check for updates. Enter password. Uh. I'm gonna assume it's Shelly or something, right? Ah, dang. Okay, that sucks. Um. Ah, fuck. I, I'm trying to remember what I first gotta do. What am I supposed to do first? I honestly don't remember. I believe the password was mother actually. Uh, I think it was mother. I'm not sure. I hope it is. I can't really think of anything else. I believe it was mother. I hope it's mother. Hey, I got it right. Updated map. Added downstairs playroom. Updated. Poured searchable furniture from the main branch. User interface. Added inventory functionality. Press square to access. Controls added crouch functionality. Plus circle to fix. Bug fixes. Restored function tab. Uh, for this movie, the special effects team led Gra- ah, I'm not- I'm sorry. I can't read it, guys. Right. This mask is pretty sick looking, though. So, part 1, part 2, part 3, part 4, part 5, part 6, part 7, okay. So, part 1, part 2, part 3, part 4. So we're gonna move this mask right there. Oh wait, no, wrong mask, buddy. That mask right there. You go, fuck, buddy. You fuck, buddy. You don't go there. Um, I believe there's more masks too, actually. 
Uh, where's the other one? I know this mask is somewhere in here. No. Here it is. It's pretty gnarly looking. Just to pick you up. Fuck, that kind of scared me. I was not expecting that. Be nice if I could have like a flashlight or something. And I believe this is where this mask goes. I'm just gonna place these masks till I get the right one, I guess. Where's the other mask though? I don't remember where the fucking mask is. Oh, that's nice. Pretty dope looking mask, though. It is pretty bloody, honestly. Can I take any of this stuff? No, I can't take any of this stuff. I can't go outside and shoot. Or they probably got fucking murdered. You know, I mean, who knows? Who knows, am I right? Okay, I'm trying to remember where these other masks were. Oh, I should let you guys read something while I take forever. Here, read this. Read this while I'm trying to do my thing. Ah, I think I remember where something was that I had to do. I was in here, where the fuck was it? I don't remember where it was actually, I changed my mind. I don't remember where it is. There's one in one of these places, I remember that. No. Ah, oh, fuck, there it is. Uh, in the script for the original movie, it is the prowler who puts the snake in on the cabinet into the scene where the snake is beheaded. No special effects were used. Out of all the films in the series, the snake is the only one who really died. Where is the other mask? I honestly don't remember. Steven. Just know of 100, 100 licensed Friday the 13 product toys. Together, they have grossed over $125 million. The two actors who appeared in both the film series and TV series, John Shepard and John... John D. Lemay, who plays Steven, both are named John and both and probably survive. Killer X. Um, fuck. I dropped my phone. I just realized that. Someone goes right there. I don't remember where any of the other stuff go though. It's the thing. I'm trying to remember everything. I can't remember it though. Let's see, I know I know there's three like stick things like like this. I know there was a Jason. And all that stuff. I'm trying to remember where they were though, it's the thing. I know there's that one that I got in that room over there, but where was the other one? Okay, maybe it was this guy. Maybe it was this Jason. That looks like the closest possible Jason I can get to though, so... Alright, actually I think I messed up actually now that I think about it. Was it in this one? I think it was, yeah. Okay, okay, change of plans. I believe it was this way. Jason goes right there, Steven goes right there, and then I believe Jessica goes right here. Maybe I messed that up. Okay. Alright, no, fuck. Ah, uh, okay, Steven goes right there, Jason, you stay right there, and then Jessica goes right here. Yeah, I lied. Jessica goes right here. Jason, you go right there. Wait, is that even the Jason I'm supposed to use? No, it has to be this Jason. I'm trying to remember the correct order they go in. 
I believe something right here is supposed to appear. All right, change of plans. We're gonna put just uh, uh, we're gonna put uh, get over here, Jason. What are you doing, buddy? Fuck, I don't remember how this goes, honestly. Jason, you go right there. There we go. Make it look like uh, what's her name? Jessica killed Jason. Okay, no, that isn't it. And we'll put Jessica right there. Oh wait, no, I already tried this way, didn't I? Fuck, how does it go? I don't fucking remember. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be the correct order, is it not? Maybe I gotta use fucking, what's his name? Alley. Maybe I gotta use Alley? Did it appear yet? No. Did it? No. Maybe this is Jessica then. Or maybe it's just, maybe it's the wrong Jason. I just realized that. No? No, is it not this Jason? Was it this Jason then? Which fucking Jason was it? Telling you it had to be this freaking Jason. It had to be. I don't remember if there's any other way. Fuck. Maybe there's another character. Maybe I gotta find another character. I think I remember. I think I remember that. I think there was a something. Yes. Okay. Okay. As I said, I think there's something over. Oh, take it. Take it, buddy. Do a sexy 360 into this room. Sweet. Well, uh, now you know the virtual cabin goes a little deeper than we let on. There are quite a few puzzles. Well, more like secrets left to discover. We hid some content in this cabin that will not be easy to unlock. That's You'll really have to think outside the box. I but swear, I don't remember if there's any others. I, I just realized I, I had to fill this in too, so. There it is! Fucking Christ, that took a bit too long for my taste. Okay. So then I gotta go this way. I gotta put one. Yeah, okay, there. Okay, now I gotta find the other ones. Okay then. It is. This is pretty confusing, honestly. I remember there's this phone. Uh, it's one, five, two, three, four, five, six, okay. And zero. God, this would take forever to fucking do, wouldn't it? Department. Hello? Hello? Hey, what's up, buddy? Ah, damn you. Well, if these police ain't gonna help me, these ones will. Nine one one, what's your emergency? Hey, hello, I, do you need I, police I need, ambulance or fire? I need help Are with you my. There? Hey, do you let, have let, an emergency? let me finish. I need help solving this. Frickin' puzzle, this thing is hard. Fucking bitch. Alright, well, she just hung up on me like a cunt. Who does that, you know? You call the police. And then there's frickin'. You know, if someone calls the police, I don't expect the police to frickin' hang up on me. Blue cap. Okay, so I need the blue hat for something. Ah, uh, what do I need it for, though? I don't remember. This thing really is fucking hard though. I'm trying to remember it on the top of my head. I don't want to have to look anything up. Because if I look something up, that's kind of going to just ruin it, isn't it? 
Where to go? Where to go? What's next? Um, I know there's the masks. Let's try out the masks then. So I got a blue mask. Okay, let's see. What mask? I need one more mask. I'm trying to remember. I know I got the one in the fire. I remember where it is. It's in one of the boxes. I don't remember if it's upstairs or downstairs, but... It's somewhere. I think it might be upstairs. Ah, oh, there it is. Hell yeah. Okay. Now, and then I remember, I believe I gotta put them in the right order in the movies. The way of the movies. Which I believe I have fairly accurate, but probably not, so. I know this, I believe this is Friday the 13th. Uh, Jason goes, this is Jason go to hell. Uh, I'm gonna pick you up. Uh, we're gonna put this boy right here, okay. Oh, I just realized, no, this is supposed to go right here. Oh, where are you, buddy? Then there's Roy Burns, who is the fake one. Then there's this one. This one, maybe? And then this one. Otherwise, okay, nope, I lied. It was this one. I think. Oh, wait, fuck, wrong mask. Down one. I gotta switch these two, because you can tell that this one was a bit more worn out. I messed up somewhere. I messed up somewhere big time. Okay. I know this should. This is part six. Part six. Part six. Let's try to switch these ones around then. Oh, this is part three, I know that. This is part four, part five, part six, I believe this is part s seven. Okay, maybe I had these mixed up. This is part eight, I know that. Fuck, dude. Alright, what about these masks? Okay, one of these masks aren't correct. Which one is it? I know this is part three. Maybe it goes in reverse. Does it go in reverse? I doubt it goes in reverse. Why would they put it in reverse? See, okay. I just realized I'm pretty sure this is uh, this mask. These two masks are mixed up. Maybe that's it. I know this is freaking. This one's part. This one is part six. I know that. And then this one is part seven. Or it should be. That's part eight. Maybe. I'm not sure. I just realized part six. Part six. Obviously, this one should go right here. What the hell, Aiden? Maybe these ones are switched around. I lied. Okay, okay. One of these masks aren't right. One of these freaking masks ain't right, buddy. But well, which one is it? So there's part three, part four, part five, part six, I believe part seven, then part eight, right? Am I not right? <sighs> Thank you. Alright, so part three, obviously. Part three, the one first mask. Part four, part five, and I think this one's mixed up with this one actually. Now that I think about it, maybe. Okay, no. I feel like these three are the ones that are mixed up, honestly. Which one would go here? I don't remember which one could go here. <clears throat> There's a lot of freaking masks. Uh, we're gonna try this one, and then, you know what, there's only two tries we can really do, right? I feel like it's these two that were mixed up. No? No? Am I still missing one? Huh? Huh? What else do I need, man? Ah! <gasps> I just realized it's cause- OF COURSE! I just realized this one wasn't supposed to be there because this one, part 5, was a copycat killer. Part 5 was Roy Burns, not Jason Voorhees. I had them in the correct order like 14 times. It's just like, I don't, I did not remember. 
Uh, I, I believe Jason's supposed to be. Anyways, I remember what's it called? Jason? Not Jason. What the? Who? What? What am I talking about? Fucking dog, uh, Roy Burn. Of course, dude. I'm such a fucking idiot. I should have thought of that. I felt I knew it had to be correct, man. I swear. Alright, so that's not that one, because that one's red, and I have two blue at the moment, so. That one's green. I honestly do feel like a fucking idiot right now. I, I feel like that's something I should have fucking known. It was so obvious. So obvious, yet so unobvious. Y'all know what I mean? Like. Like, it's just one of those things where once you realize it, you feel like a fucking idiot. You're like, of course. It all makes sense now. Okay, which one of these look bluer to you? That one looks bluer to me, so. Now, what do I do next? After the masks, what is next? I don't remember. Um, um, okay. Okay, let me go check this. This place again. This place felt like, like I didn't. I wasn't able to crouch before. So. Uh, wait. No. Wait. No. The yo-yo. The yo-yo was in here, right? I believe. Yeah. The was the yo-yo in here? I believe so. I believe so. Okay. Think, Aiden. Think, 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 think. And I believe there is one downstairs in one of these rooms over here. The naked girl. Okay, yep, okay, there's the red one then. Now I just need the green one. The green one. Oh, okay, the green one. Where was the green one? Where would something green be? I have the hat. Is there anything? Anything? Yeah, I already have this one. I think I already have the one that's meant to be green, but I feel like I messed this one up. I feel like I think this one was supposed to be the yo-yo. This was supposed to be the yo-yo. I messed up. Obviously, I messed up. You know, I do that a lot. Uh, I hidden. It's outside. I swear. It's something outside. Someone's at the lake. There's a fire outside. Fires are good. Fires are nice. is pretty awesome. I believe I told you this, but I used to be a fucking pyromaniac when I was younger. Like, you can ask my parents and stuff. I often stole, because my parents smoke, and I often stole their fucking lighters and stuff, and, you know, just went fucking lit some shit the fuck up. You know, who didn't, though? Like, honestly. I believe this yo-yo is supposed to be, is it in here? Yes, and I believe this yo-yo is supposed to be this one. Alright, so I messed something up then. I believe I had to mess something up. I forget anything. Did I forget anything? What did I forget? I feel like I'm forgetting something. Okay, you know, I feel like my stupid... My stupidity would honestly tell me to put the colors, or not the colors, put the item where the color is, so I just remembered I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be the hat actually, which I already placed down, I gotta go find the hat. Yeah, this thing is fucking confusing as hell. Cause I remember I watched a video about it when I first got this game. So maybe that's supposed to go right there then. Was that supposed to go right there? I don't want to place it down in case it was supposed to go right there. Wait, 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 what was I supposed to do? Oh wait, yeah, it's supposed to go put the cap over here.
Okay, now what? Now what? I feel. I think there was like a police, a police badge, but where was it? Police badge, police badge. Where the frick are you? I just. I think I know. I think I remember where it is now. I wish they had like a sprinting mechanic. I believe it is it upstairs? It might be downstairs. It might be in one of the downstairs. I think it's in one of the downstairs one. Here it is, motherfucker. Oh yeah, okay, okay, there we go. Now where is that supposed to go? You guys read something you guys read some stuff while I try to figure this out. Yeah, I feel like jogging would probably sped this up a little bit. I'm kind of slow moving, and my stupidity doesn't really help at all, because, you know, I'm kind of stupid, so. Now, I know the blue, I know the hat goes in the one in the back. And then this, I put, I remember where the banana, I remember where the bandana goes now. Is it in here? Okay, wait, no, that's supposed to- Okay, I remember that one's supposed to be the yo-yo. Every time I hear that, I feel like like someone- Like they're like Jason or someone's like walking by the door. Okay, now where's the last one? Do you guys remember that last one was? The hat was over there. Bandana goes in there. Is there one in here? Yes, there's one in here. And I believe this is where the police badge goes. Yes, finally, okay. We got another one, guys. We need one more now. I'm not gonna tell you guys. Thank you. Thank you. You're kinda late, but it's fine. I appreciate it. You still tried. Which is good enough in my book. Okay, now we need to start going up. We can use the bathroom, guys. I'll be back in a second.
Alright guys, I'm back. Sorry about that, I brought me a little bit of dinner. I actually brought me some lasagna, some leftover lasagna that my mom made a couple days ago. Pretty good lasagna. I wish I could smell and taste this. Searched up now. Uh, give me a second. Text me if you're there, baby. I just want to make sure. I don't want to keep continuing if you're not there. Jason's part two. Give me a second, guys. Let me get a bite out of here real quick. Get a bite before I start reading. Part two. It's the first film to feature Jason Voorhees as the film. You guys are going to be done by the time I finish. After surviving Johnny and living alone in the woods for more than 20 years, Satka Jason emerges to exact revenge for the murder of his mother, Pamela Voorhees. <clears throat> Continuing his mother's mission to keep Crystal Lake closed, he decimates nearly every counselor at the Pakanek Lodge Training Center. Only aspiring child psychologist Ginny Field is able to outsmart and eventually defeat. Jason, after she puts on Pamela's sweater to trigger Jason and then buries a machete deep into his shoulder. After the credits roll, only question remains, where the hell is Paul? You wanna know where Paul is, buddy? Oh, man. Yeah, I don't know, the part three, Jason. 
After barely surviving his encounter with Jenny in Part 2, Jason sets his sights on new section of Crystal Lake, taking his haven. Part 3 was released in glorious 3D and is the first movie to feature Jason Mankey's iconic hacky, hot hacky mask. Hockey mask. After Jason murders nearly everyone in sight, heroin Chris Higgins knocks him unconscious and with a shell. Hangs him and finally takes out a hatchet to his head and take him out. After August 13, 1982, a hockey mask would never look the same again. Ooh. If you guys are wondering, that's a reference to the slash the axe mark in the mask. I should give it its iconic look. Part 4. Part Friday the 13th. Final chapter. Build at the end of the series to be the end of the series. The final chapter delivers a final resolution, if not an ending. Part four is perhaps the most notable for two endings. The first one is being Crispin Glover. His dance move is a woo one of the twin. Is his dance to woo one of the twins is one of the most endosynatric and perplexing dances in all of cinema. Of of a poor important role, the final chapter introduced the canon to canon the mask obsessed Tommy Jarvis played by the Burgering Burgering Burger Eon something. Star Corey Feldman. By ingenuity or madness, Tommy dresses up as a young boy Jason in the final confrontation delivers a mortal machete blow that would send Jason to his temporary grave. Hell yeah. Good job, Tommy. Sorry for the chewing, I meant to put my, if you guys can hear my chewing, I meant to push my, uh, mic away before I started doing that. Obviously I didn't. Friday the 13th, part 6, Jason lives. After a traumatic battle with Jason years earlier, much older and much and very troubled, Tommy Jarvis returns in Friday the 13th, Part 6, to destroy Jason's body once and for all. Unfortunately, the plan fails and invertedly brought Jason is invertedly brought back to life. <laughs> Armed with a utility belt, hunting knife, and throwing darts, undead Jason is able to gruesomely murder 18 people at camp. Forest Green Warriors, he's defeated and returned to the bottom of Crystal Lake. I don't even know if most of you guys heard that, but here is personally one of my favorite looking Jasons just because it looks fucking gnarly as fuck. I don't think you guys can really see the background with his background as his exposed spine and shit. Friday the 13th, The New Blood. Jason begins this film drowned and chained at the bottom of Crystal Lake. The telekinetic Tina Shepard Part 7's final girl mistakenly brings back to Jason to life while having an emotional breakdown. Part uh, 7. Features very several intense battle scenarios, creatively brutal kills like the sleeping black and memorable sleeping bag and memorable characters, but more importantly this film makes the first time Kane Hodder makes the first time this film makes the first time Kane Hodder would step into the role of Jason Voorhees. Kane's intimidating portrayal of Jason quickly propelled him into a fan favorite and ultimately allowed Kane to don the hockey mask for the next three films. Like I said, fucking Kane Hodder's honestly one of my most my favorite things my favorite uh jason actor by the 13th part eight jason takes manhattan once portrayed once again portrayed by kane hodder this installment follows jason as he tracks a new group of victims from crystal egg aboard the ss the ss lord larsis or is it Lord, 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 something to the bright lights of Manhattan. While only a tiny portion was actually filmed in Manhattan, that didn't stop Paramount from heavily promoting the NY England, New York England. Jason even made a surprise visit to the Air Samuel Hall show. We all saw future star Kelly H.U. who make her filmed appearance. Get another bite real quick, guys. Hope you all don't mind. Text me if your messages aren't still appearing, by the way. Near the, the most divisive entry of the franchise, Jason goes to Hell's 
Jason goes to Hell's decision to focus on the possession angle meant virtually no screen time for Jason. So, still the film had an array of brutal kills. Uh, okay, well just text me, I guess. I don't mind, but... <coughs> I mean, you can if you want, it's up to you. Focus on the possession angle meant virtually no screen time for Jason himself. Still, the film had an array of brutal kills, a cool Jason design, and a dynamic soundtrack created by Harry Manfredini. The other horror icon at the end of the... The other horror, I, horror icon's cameo at the end was controversial, but it helped set the stage for a future movie showdown. And Tom Savini designed Jason, created specifically for this game. I do like it, part six. Here's my other favorite Jason. Dun dun dun. Uh, Savini's Jason was an exclusive reward for backers that supported the game early on. Special that makeup effect guru Tom Savini created this Jason to reflect what Jason may have looked like after he turned from hell. Jason is badly wounded, deep gashes co cover his body, and his skin is burned beyond recognition. Jason emerges from hell clutching a pitchfork. He pried from the hands of Lucifer himself. Savini's concept is terrifying, unforgettable take on the king of slashes. I know why people like the skin, but I honestly still do really like part 6 Jason better. I believe it's part 6, the exposed spine Jason. That is part 6. But no, this is part 6. My favorite is part 7. I have a mysterious one here. Ooh. Give me a second. Get another bite of mine. Lasagna. June 13th, 1979, 78. One of those, I don't remember, I don't know why I stopped. It's all with all the noises. June 13th, was it? 1979. I believe that's what it was. Uh, 1979, I believe, yeah. And I believe I go back down to the thing. Yeah, okay. Jason. Not, the, not Jason. The phone's ringing again. Hello? Yeah. You should have been watching him. We have a small problem on our hands. Ah, uh, buddy seemed to escape here. Oh my god, Deborah. Oh god, what the hell happened? Oh fuck, that scared me. Oh god. Fucking, what's your name again? Uh, Eric. Okay, give me a second. Another bite out of my delicious lasagna. Hopefully I don't choke trying to chew. Oh god. Where is it? Where is this sick bastard at? Hiding behind this door, buddy. Where are you at, Jason? Oh, 
Oh god. She's dead. I know there's a guy back here. Ah, uh, Kenny, I'm gonna steal your key, buddy. You don't mind. Where is this key going to? Uh oh. Uh oh. No, he got out. Oh god, we're all dead. Okay, now what? And I have the key now. What? What do I do now? What? Where did I see a? Key? I I remember where I seen a key. I lied. Wait, no. Oh wait, never mind. No. Oh God! Oh God! She's missing her leg. What the hell? What the hell, Jason? I'll fight that mother's on you real quick. Good fucking gun, you don't guys. Holy fuck. What locker door? I don't know, but. Hmm. Well, got that door. I don't think so, no. <coughs> Probably not. No, okay. But then where do I go from here? I think there's something outside. I remember where it was. Okay, now I need to get a couple more now. Late in development, we had this bug. We swore it was like the spirit of Jason coming into the game or something. But sometimes during a match, these invisible holes would generate. And if you manage to fall through one, you'd end up in this weird, untextured area of the map. It was not like an area we physically created, but um, like made of bits of our assets. Eventually, you'd be shot up high into the air and killed by Jason in the sky. Luckily, we were able to get it out before CERT, but it was a tough one. How were you able to find it? We had this debug code that would show us the holes in the map. That helped us hunt them down. What was the debug code? You know, it's the same code everyone uses when they need to input a secret code in a video game. I mean, just remember back when we were kids. It's probably better for legal that way. Interesting. Interesting. There's over here. It's a pretty sexy car. <clears throat> now what's the code? Let's see, it was some. I believe my mic's probably not very close to mine. It was five, uh, three, one, <clears throat> one. I believe one, two. There it is. Ah, it's Pamela's head. Gnarly. Come home to ah. mommy, Jason. I don't want you it. Know the way. Do I? This looks like the way, right? 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 That doesn't look like the way. That looks like a way I should avoid. Wait, no, I think it's up here. So does, like, no one else notice this fucking <clears throat> shit right here? Like, is no one like, hey, we should probably go check out, like, that fucking cabin, bro. Like, what fucking cabin, bro? Like, that cabin that's, like, above, like, the fucking I'm thing. Now, up, up that fucking hill, bro. What fucking cabin? Yeah, you're right, bro. Let's get out of here for J piss Jason off. Away from me, Jason. I know you're out there somewhere. I know you escaped somehow. Why is this? Oh, I know. I think that's. I think that was someone. Someone got killed with that. But I'm gonna go place this badge just in case. It gives me a little bit more of an inventory. <clears throat> I 
<clears throat> I have a box. There's probably some really interesting stuff right there, but unfortunately I don't have the time to check. Well, there's one up here. <clears throat> Fuck. This way. Whoa, <laughs> No, I believe there's one of these. Yeah, right here. I know there's a fence post around here somewhere. Ooh, but what's in the bucket, eh? Let's go around this way and check. I can't really see what's in the bucket, but okay then. And there has to be a shovel around here somewhere. Where's the shovel? Where's the shovel? Shut up, freaking owl. Jeez Louise, buddy. Where the hell was the shovel? There should be a shovel around here. Where's the shovel, Neil? I think I remember. I think there's a shed somewhere. As far as I can remember. Of course, I am kind of a dummy. <laughs> oh, shed! Where are you, shedy, shedy, shed? It's not that way, I hope not, because that way looks very scary. Where the hell is the shed, guys? Come on now. Don't tease me, don't cock tease me. Oh, wait, it's right here. I just realized I could see it the whole fucking time for some reason. This Easter egg does go deep, honestly. Ah, oh, fuck, that scared me. I didn't expect it to open so fast. This this Easter egg does go really fucking deep. It's all worth it. I remember how the fucking Easter egg ends, so. Fuck yeah. Ah. I was hoping I'd be able to hear the music all the way from over here, right? Some pretty bitchin' music, guys. Fuck yeah. <clears throat> Dig up the corpse like you do. Ugh, disgusting and gnarly, bro. Wrong item, bro. <laughs> uh oh, that's not good. I better run. Wait! What? <laughs> what? <laughs> that is a pretty cool action sequence, right, guys? Alright, baby. Was that a nice action sequence? Ah, fuck this slot right there. That slot. Jason Liz. Ooh, mysterious. Ooh, answer me. Was that a cool Easter egg or not, girl? It's not much of an Easter egg because it's kind of supposed to happen, but it's still pretty nice. Still a pretty nice little thing to add. And where do I keep trying to put the shovel? Can I drop the shovel now? No, I have to keep the shovel. Maybe I can use it to defend myself. Now here comes one of the hard parts, trying to get to this bad boy right here. Can I turn the brightness up actually, it's, it's kind of hard to see this part. Without the, g the gamma being up, I'm going to switch it to like 2.5 though. It's just really hard to see this direction. There's a certain path you have to follow, and it's with one of these bad boys, right? Oh wait, this is supposed to lead over here, I think. 
Okay. Somehow I actually managed to get this, but I don't really know how. Oh, God. Secret patch. Muffin the cute dog with the purple bone part 2 seemingly counters Jason Voorhees while exploring the woods. Later that dude who counselors found the carcass of the dead dog that looks like the ball of pup. But all is not lost. In a sequence near the end of the movie, Jenny and Paul hear the sound of the door. Is it Jason? The door opens to reveal Muffin. She's alive! The dog scampers towards Jenny. Jason grabs through the window and grabs the terrified Jenny in slow motion. I'll just show you guys what happens if you go off. If you go off in the wrong direction. Fuck that scared me. Oh wait. <laughs> wait, wait. I believe there's a cert I believe each each way you mess up, there's a new execution. Yep. <gasps> You guys like my voice acting? My voice acting is pretty alright, I think. I think I could play it pretty good in this slasher movie, right? Everyone's dead over here, I just realized that. Give me that gas. Yeah, let's get out of here, guys. Woo! Uh, I might have to leave all those guys behind, I guess. But it's fine, we're safe. Hell yeah, let's go. Let's get out of here. Hey, I'm right here! I'm right here, guys! Okay, guys, we're safe now. It's okay. Whew, I thought we were gonna die. Oh, fuck. Uh, little boy Jason. Looking fucking disturbing as fuck. Fucking titties. All right, guys. All right, guys. Give me a second while I go run my plate downstairs. Alright guys, we're back, sorry about that. Back to this very long process. I believe we're only about like halfway, a little more than halfway through. Maybe about three quarters of the way through now. Wait. Hmm. And once again, ah. Uh, Kind of search something up real quick because I know there's a code I have to do, but I don't remember the code specifically, so yeah, I'm sorry, guys. There we go. something oh yes I remember I remember what it has to do 
Oh, fuck. We spent a lot of time tuning the game to make sure it was fun to play as the counselor, and we knew we had it win. <laughs> Funny guys, hilarious. How long have you been waiting to play that for? Anyways, we finally... Oh, shit. <laughs> Kane, that's dope. You got me. Oh, careful, bro. Your knife is tripping on the... the shit out of me. Fuck. <sighs> okay. That wasn't meant to happen. Alright. Well. Huh. Oh. Who the hell is this? Ah! Where do I go now? Can I go outside? Oh wait, it's right here. Where do I go now? Oh, they're all holding one, okay. It's just the last one. Friday the 13th. The Mater is history in Camp Crystal Lake and the I locals warning do not deter counselors from weaken from setting up a summer camp one by one. The counselors are stalked and slaughtered by a merciless and mysterious killer, Pamela Voorhees. She's on a rampage to avenge the death of her son, Jason, who drowned in the lake because of irresponsible in permissions counselors who are not supervising him. The film ends as one of the most memorable stingers in cinema history. Oh yeah, this dude's still missing, so that's nice. Oh fuck. I kind of went inside of him, but... Oh, he kind of disappeared, but that's fine. I looked at all the Jasons are missing, except that one. this little place Oh my god, it's Uber Jason. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. How are you doing, buddy? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? Hey! <laughs> Hell yeah. Virtual cabin completed. Alright, I believe that's the end of, like, virtual cabin now. So yeah, that's basically how it ends, guys. You basically fucking... Ah, uh, get killed by Uber Jason, which I think looked pretty cool. Right, wouldn't you guys agree? Right, right.
right, 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 right. Right, right, right. It, it is a pretty long fucking process, though, honestly. There's still one more really cool thing. Hell yeah, it's fucking Uber, Jason. Jason X. In the telefilm film of the series, Jason is sent to the far future and outer space with a cameo by David Cronenberg, a holographic double sleeping bag kill, and the infamous liquid nitrogen face mask. Jason X has some great highlights. Perhaps most memorable is the introduction of Uber Jason. It, in a brutal battle with the android KM-14, Jason falls defeated into a nano med bay that rebuilds the killer into a powerful cyborg with red eyes. Reborn, Uber Jason finds that he is the monstrous he has monstrous strength in his impervious to bullets and roundhouse from androids. Uber Jason is destructible as a falling star. Hell yeah, fucking Uber Jason just 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 look how fucking sexy this man is. I messed up. So I wanna know if can like is there an Easter egg to like get their masks off? I'm gonna search up if there's an Easter egg to get the masks off. Alright guys, I'll be right back though.
Alright, as far as I can find, there's nothing that you can do to take off the masks. Congratulations on completing the virtual cabin. In the future, we might update the space to reveal what's behind those two curtains. But for now, we just want to say thank you for playing and invite you to stay as long as you would like. Alright, yeah, I'm going to stop the stream here, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll probably stream tomorrow. Uh, maybe not. I'm actually going to uh, ice fishing. But yeah... Uh, yeah, oh, I don't know how long I'm maybe going for. I'll try and stream right away right when I get back to it. Alright, bye. See you guys. I was about to say I love you guys. I do love you guys.